Deborah worked for God. A long time ago, there was a person named Deborah who worked for God. When people couldn't agree on something or they didn't want to share, they would go to Deborah and she would tell them what God wanted them to do. She sat under a palm tree out between the cities of Ramah and Bethel, and people came from miles around to tell Deborah their problems and ask what they should do. Unfortunately, at this time, there were a lot of the people of God who were not acting like God's people. They didn't pray, and they had kind of forgotten about God. Deborah couldn't tell them the right thing to do because they didn't ask her. God was so upset with their behavior that he let the king of another country come and take over. This new king was really, really mean. He sent out his soldiers to be so mean that the people finally started crying out to God for help. God was glad to hear them pray again. As she sat under the palm tree, God told Deborah that the time had come for her to call together an army. He told her to send messengers to all the towns thereabouts and to call all the workers from the fields and the hills. He also told her to call a general named Barak, which means lightning. He was to lead God's army. When Barak came to Deborah, he was not feeling very bright or very shiny. He was a bit scared to do what Deborah said he should do. Barak pointed out that the other king had 900 iron chariots. A chariot was a kind of car that they used a long time ago. Each one was pulled by at least two horses. They could go really fast, and it made it easy to catch people. Barak also pointed out that the other king had soldiers who had swords and shields. The army Deborah had called together didn't have swords or shields or chariots. They weren't even soldiers. They were just regular working people. Barak said he would only go to lead this army if Deborah herself would go with him. Deborah prayed and she trusted God when God said that she should go. She stood up and put her long gray hair in a bun, and she said to Barak, Okay, let's go. Deborah had told the army to gather and wait in some hills next to a wide valley. At the bottom of the valley, there was a big river. When Deborah and Barak got to the hills where the army waited, they could see that the other king's chariots were coming really quickly across the river and across the valley. There were so many horses pulling so many chariots, that Deborah's army could hear the noise the horse's hooves made. Barak asked Deborah if the army shouldn't run down into the valley and be ready to meet the chariots. Deborah prayed and then said, Wait, wait, wait. And then everyone saw a huge black cloud going out over the valley. There was a strong, cold wind, and lightning broke out of the cloud, and rain began to pour, like 10,000 faucets all turned on at once. This is when Deborah jumped up and pointed at the black cloud and shouted, There is God! Go now, Barak! Go, go, go! There was so much rain that the river overflowed, and the valley filled, and the wheels of the chariots all got stuck in the mud. The other king's army was defeated. He and his soldiers were sent out of the country. God was happy with his people again, and there were 40 years of peace. Deborah went back to her palm tree and sat answering questions, helping people do the right thing.